Hey guys, Shelby Grimness here from the Vault Pro Scooters, and yes, I am a girl. Today we're going to be showing you what we use to film our videos. A few of you have been asking on Instagram saying, film a video of all your camera stuff to show us what you use. So this is me doing that now. I'm going to show you what we use to film all our in-house stuff, all the stuff that we use to film out when we're like on a trip at the skate park, ride days, stuff like that. And I'm going to be showing you my own personal camera gear that I use to shoot photos. So I'm gonna start off on the in-house stuff. Usually we film these videos with this Panasonic GH4, but right now James is using his own personal equipment. That is the Panasonic LX100 and the GH4's little brother, Panasonic G7. This camera is a beast to GH4. It shoots in 4K, it looks amazing. We have a Metabones speed booster on it and we use the Tamron 17 to 50 millimeter lens 2.8. The footage on this looks amazing, and I think it's really upped the ante for product videos or any in-house stuff that uh, people do. For audio, we use the Audio Technica audio kit. We have like so many of these, so that when we have like three people come in to film customs, they can all get audio. We also use the Audio Zoom H5 Handy Recorder. So this is just what we use audio-wise to pick up everything. Um, we're not using the mics on the cameras because that sounds like boo-boo. Um, and this makes everything sound really good. And then for photo stuff, we use the Canon T4i. This used to be the camera we filmed all our videos on, like all the custom builds, reviews, ride days, everything and it was really hard for us to split up between like, if I had to go on a trip, I'd have to take this camera, that's, which meant we couldn't film many customs. So it's really nice now having all this equipment so that we can pretty much film whenever we want, wherever we want. We we'll use the Tamron in this a lot. We'll also use a Canon 50 millimeter 1.8 lens to shoot product photos on that. And also we'll use this Rokinon 8 millimeter fisheye. And also we do use the fisheye with the GH4 because we have the speed booster. Um, whenever James goes out and films like little clips outside. Um, but yeah, so that's what we use for most of the in-house stuff. We also use this, you know, soft box lighting to make everyone here look beautiful. And now we have our own studio to do all this in, so it's pretty sick. I feel like I would be talking a lot more about our in-house stuff, but it's actually a pretty simple setup to do what we do. This is what I use to go and film ride days, trips, anything that's like an edit, ride day, just any, like anything like that. I use the Panasonic HCX 1000. This thing is a workhorse. This thing is meant to go and film all day. And it doesn't matter weather conditions. It can be super cold, it can be super hot. This thing is like, it has, it's just a workhorse. It has a fan installed inside of it to cool it down when it's, so that it can literally film all day. It doesn't overheat. It's super sick. It comes with two batteries so we can film all day. This thing has a Leica lens on it, which is amazing. Um, it has 20 times optical zoom, so you can zoom for days. So when you're trying to get super artsy, you can. We've had this since October, and I'm still learning how to use it because there's so much stuff you can do with it. Finally, we got the Optica Super Fisheye. So this lens was made originally for four by three cameras, and it's already been hit. Mr. Caleb Eldridge, one of our AM riders, hit this thing at a skate park doing a board slide on a handrail. He just leaned too far over onto the side I was filming and dropped his scooter in the peg, hit directly onto the lens. Luckily, since we shoot 16 by nine, the scratch falls under what the camera shows. So we got super lucky on that. But this thing is ridiculously wide. It's like 180 degrees. Like I can put my hand over here and you'll see it on the camera. It's pretty crazy. Super solid lens, it looks really good. Um, we got this one because Sentry Optics doesn't make a fisheye yet for our camera. So this will have to do, but it gets the job done. But yeah, so that's that setup. It's really simple. It's all I really need to go out and get the job done to film ride days and stuff. All right, next up is my personal camera gear that I use to shoot photos. Um, a lot of you guys hit me up on Instagram asking like, what do I shoot with? And like, I always try to reply to you, but sometimes I forget or I don't have time. So 
Now I can just direct you to this video. It's a pretty intense setup, so get ready for a lot of words you may not understand or know. So I'll start it off with the camera body. This is a Canon 50D. I've been using the battery grip for most of the time I've been shooting photos. It just feels really good. And it also makes it better to have two batteries instead of one so you can shoot all day and not have to worry about your camera dying. It's super durable. This thing has been hit a lot. It's been dropped a lot and it's still holding up. It's a very solid camera. All right, I'll move on to the glass. I'm not much of a glass person. I'm more into lighting um, due to just like shooting action sports, you need to freeze your subjects. And so I really worried about the lighting. I didn't put much effort into my glass, but I got the two necessary lenses to shoot action sports. That one of them being the Canon 50 millimeter 1.8 lens. This thing is like 90 bucks and it's, one of the best lenses you can have. And then my favorite lens in my setup, which is the Tokina 10 to 17 millimeter fisheye. This thing is amazing. I've had it for like eight years and it still works completely fine. The glass on it is amazing. Next, I'll move on to the lighting. Um, this is where things get pretty crazy. If you see me out there shooting, like at Woodward or just out, like, out in the streets or whatever, you probably see me setting up this crazy looking thing every time. And you're like, what is she doing? This is a Lumidime 800 watt flash tube. This thing's super powerful. It lights up pretty much anything you need to light up. And it's powered by this Lumidime next generation flash pack. I believe this is 200 watts. It's a beast, it's really heavy. And then when I'm just trying to get a job done quick and I don't want to set up, but I still need to light somebody up, like at a demo or whatever, I'll use this Canon 580 EX speed light. Another important part of my setup is these pocket wizards. I have four pocket wizard plus twos transceivers. You can put your flashes wherever you want. You can go run a hundred yards and these things will still flash. That's our setup for all you guys that have been asking. I know it's a lot of information taken at once, but it's just what we use to show you guys all these custom builds, reviews, ride days, and then my camera gear that I use to shoot photos that you see in the magazines and stuff like that. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. Make sure to follow us on our social media, which will be listed right here. You can follow me on Instagram to see all my photos that I take. I always post them up on there. And one more time, just in case you forgot, I am a girl. Peace.